So enhancer malfunction cancer is a new topic in the area of cancer biology. So for over the past two decades, the field has been very much interested in defining the sequences within the genome, protein coding sequences, exome sequencing, to define how mutations within protein coding sequences or within the promoter of this protein could cause pathogenesis of human disease, mostly cancer, a lot of cancer genome sequencing studies. The, the idea of the Keystone Symposium Enhancer Malfunction in Cancer evolved at the uh, postdoc in my lab, Hans Martin Herz and I were talking about writing a review for Cell Press on the enhancer malfunction in cancer. And we spent a good bit of time reading about the literature, analyzing our work in reflection of what exists in the literature, and came up with a very exciting piece of uh, document that convincingly shows that enhancer malfunction and regulation of enhancer properties quite important in cancer pathogenesis. We published it in, in Cell Press, and after a while, we got quite a bit of excitement from the field about the article. We got a lot of calls, a lot of requests, a lot of communication with the colleagues. So being involved as a board of the scientific advisory for Keystone Symposium, I proposed that you know maybe we should have a meeting on enhancer malfunction in cancer. So myself and Del Dorset, my colleague, who is in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at St. Louis University, and Del has been studying enhancers for the past 30, 35 years. And he has done beautiful genetic screens in Drosophila long before anybody was interested in enhancers. He identified factors that regulate enhancer function. And I thought Dell would be a fantastic colleague to work together to organize this meeting. I think there's going to be a large number of people who will be attending Compress, people who are very much interested in chromatin biology and the role of chromatin modifiers in regulation of gene expression. Enhancers are central for regulation of gene expression. Those are who are involved in regulatory elements. I mean, there's going to be a quite a bit of nice presentations within the colleague who are working on identification of regulatory elements, the, the processing of regulatory elements, transcription from regulatory elements, RNA that is synthesized from these regulatory elements, and the function of these RNAs and communication within this enhancer and promoter communication. Those folks would be very interested in attending this meeting. And those who are interested in gene regulation, it is malfunction in cancer and in human diseases also would be highly benefited from attending this meeting. This is the first conference that I know is on enhancer malfunction in cancer. So when we wrote the review, it was the first review of its kind that proposed that enhancer malfunction in cancer through the MLL34 compass family could be very important, and I think we have followed through with the meeting. And I'm hoping for a great turnout, and uh, most importantly, I'm hoping that the colleagues that we have inv invited from different fields of transcription biology, chromatin biology, development, all will bring more ideas that how we can tackle this problem as a field, and how we can move forward and come up with the most important question to be addressed. I think the, the conference have a huge significance on moving the field forward because this would be for the first time that we are sitting all together as those who work on studying up the transcriptional regulation, those who looked at the chromatin modification and gene expression, those who look at the role of the regulatory RNAs or non, long non-coding RNAs, and those who are looking at factors and inhibitors that involve in regulation of this process, all getting together with the focus of this 98% of the genome that are involved with regulatory element. How can we study these domains? And also, I think more importantly, I hope we get folks who are doing genome sequencing, and maybe we can convince them that getting the full genome sequence in many of these cancer and also other human diseases could be quite central in identifying mutations within enhancers, and how these mutations communicate with the factors such as MLO34 compass involving methylation of these enhancers, and how these mutations could result in disease pathogenesis. So enhancer malfunction in cancer meeting is in conjunction with the non-coding RNA in health and disease which is organized by Ramin Shekhatar and Roberto Benacio. And uh, with working with Shekhatar and Benacio, we have put together a program that there are joint session that both scientists in the area of the enhancer and regulatory element and non-coding RNA would be very interested in. So we do have those several joint sessions for the meeting. And also we have separate sessions for each meeting that there are nitty gritty details of the subject of each discipline that the colleagues could attend. So I think joining these two meetings together and having joint session is going to be quite beneficial for scientists who are attending these meetings from different disciplines.